I, th- I think we've still got to be optimistic. I think it was always going to be incredibly difficult to to win the league uh, on a, a th- third time in a, in a row. Um, Liverpool have been incredible. I know City fans won't really want me to, want to hear me saying that, but we, we have to admit they've, they've been spectacular. I think, but generally by now you you would expect them to have you know a championship winning team would probably have lost three games by now would probably have drawn four or five and and the gap would be you know within reach uh, so it's been we we haven't been good we we, we know that we, but it, it's i think it's more down to how brilliant they have been and we we were fantastic for two seasons in, in a row to to achieve what we achieved under under intense pressure from Liverpool last season was was fantastic and 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 to to expect to do it again was too much but yes a uh, couple of league games now and then three big games in a row that you know FA Cup League Cup and, and Champions Champions League and, and they're going to define the season and uh, I say we uh, last couple of years I've been sort of had a couple of trips with um, Big Joe and Tommy with, with the trophies so. Uh, we need to win them again so I can go to Ireland again with them. <laughs> <laughs> and enjoy it, absolutely. Uh, now, I mean, David, from your point of view, when you were a player, were, you know, I don't know how many times you talked, well, you must have, t- yeah, you did talk to the press, perhaps not formally in a press conference thing, but you would have, you'd have had media coming down. How did you deal? How, did, how were you ad, um, advised to deal with negative questions and negativity? And what do you think... Do you think that City should should do something, and do you understand the agenda that sometimes comes from some of the media? Yeah, I mean, just understanding the agenda, yeah, and it, and it's it's wrong. I don't think it's what journal, journalism should be about. I mean, this, um, I mean, that's how it right. When when I was playing, it, it was literally you and Peter Gardner and Brian Clark. That's I know, it, that's what it was, and and you know, you'd come on the coach with us. I mean, I don't know if you you did, but certainly. Um, when I was first in the team, first in the team, Peter, Peter Gardner was travelling on the team bus with us, you know, to and from every game, staying in the team hotel with us. Um, I think Clark, I think Brian did as well. Brian Clark did. Um, so um, probably more so with Brian than than with Peter. You you know, and, and, and yourself. It, it was you're just one of the uh, one of the club really. That's how it felt. And and um and I, I don't think you'd have been able to stitch any of us up because you you know you the privilege because I mean, we we you'd come and interview us out right outside the changing rooms don't you or or on the training field and um so that kind of those privileges would have been gone very very quickly if you if you betrayed that so the whole thing is is, is very very different obviously social media I, I i don't think i could cope with all all this now and and um and and i, I suppose he kind of sort of doesn't play the game. He sometimes, you know, he, he sometimes makes it um, look like he's being rude, <laughs> in all honesty. But you know, if um, if there is there is this agenda, uh, and the questions are getting asked for for all the wrong reasons, really, not to get to the truth or not to get to the the the, the hub of the matter, uh, then you never you're never actually going to get to the the hub of the matter. It, it's uh, the, the the agenda's the agenda's just wrong, and it and it puts unnecessary pressure on players and, and uh, which which it doesn't you know doesn't help and you know going back to you know where we are in terms of the season we, we we just have to admit that Liverpool have been brilliant this season we, we were we were brilliant last season and brilliant the season before and we'll be brilliant again uh, and it, you know it is a, it's a, it is an extraordinary season in terms of uh, their output but yes we we've got um these these three cup competitions, all of which, we you know, two of them surely we're favourites for, and we and we and we have a good chance of being successful in in Europe, and I, and I think that would you know to finish second in the league, and win two of them, uh, ideally the 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 big prize being one of them would be absolutely incredible season on the back of the success we've 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 had recently, and certainly you know going back to two thousand twelve. There's nobody better place as a player who played in a different era to talk about that difference in the way it was to the way it is now because a lot of fans when they are critical of the critics and they might even be critical of us if we say something that's negative um, we'll, we'll always hark back to aren't we lucky to be where we are aren't you know have people forgotten where we've come from you certainly don't you were a City fan mm. then you were a City player 
um, when we're in your era. We, City weren't winning every trophy. They weren't the, you know, the most spoken about club in the world, which City have been for a little while. They didn't have the the assets uh, in terms of cash, etc., to spend. So, do you, when you hear the criticism of City, do you have any sympathy with that criticism, or do you are you also thinking, come on, remember where we've come from? Where, where do you stand on that? I think it. Uh, uh, the success that we've had, you just you're judging yourself on a different level, and that's got to be a good thing. So I think we just every now and again we just have to check ourselves and say, right, I'm you know I'm not being critical against the you know the team from the eighties or the nineties. You know we 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 we're criticising against the fact that last year we were brilliant and we what we you know the football we played last season was every bit as good as the football Liverpool are playing this season. I, I would say prettier on the eye, you know, if I'm being honest. I think. Uh, uh, Liverpool's a bit more power play and dy- dynamic, but I think we probably we we've had better players on the on the eye. We're just judging ourselves again against totally different standards, um, so we just have to check ourselves on that. But that's you know it is fantastic, and as as we say, we're second in the league and still very very much in in three three cup competitions. Do you feel that this this team that is playing at the moment, this squad? Um, which I would suggest the differences are no Vincent Company, obviously Laporte and Sane have been injured, Fernandinho playing in a different position, um, but essentially, apart from that, the same squad that there was last year, that obviously two new signings in Rodri and Cancelo, do you feel this, this squad then is just as good as it was last year, or as some have suggested, that, that, that City have gone backwards a little bit? I think we're... Uh, <coughs> I think we have, you know. In all honesty, I've, I've, you, you know, I'm a great, um, massive fan of Fernandino, and and I think Fernandino has been a miles bigger loss than Laporte has been. Um, I, I think. Um, you mean in terms of him being in a different position? Yeah, look, not Fernandino not playing in that uh, that holding uh, midfield role is a miles bigger loss because what we've done, we, we've lost our best centre half, and then we've took the screen away. So as much as you know, he, he can play that. I think it's never. I, I just, I just feel as though I feel like we've 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 wasted a great season of Fernandino because he's thirty four. He's signed another contract now. But how long, have, you know, how long have we got left with him? And you know, will he always be a centre half now? It, you know, it's. Uh, I just didn't didn't think this season was the right way to do it. We've got, you know, um, and uh, so we've got to be critical. I think um, David Silva. It, it has felt a bit. I don't want to say testimonial, but it, it's, you know, may, it, he's announcing his leaving, making him captain. It, it's it's felt a little by a bit like this could be his last game every single, and and I don't think that's been right. And, and I think Sterling has been absolutely incredible, and then his his standard has dropped and, and his output has dropped. Um, but you know, he's still play he's still playing well. But he got himself to a an absolutely incredible standard. Uh, fullbacks, um, this business of you know a, a fullback can play right back and left back. I, I, I mean, it's happened once in the history of football. He's done, you know, unless I'm mistaken, Dennis Irwin and Bremer are the only two players that have ever done. Yeah. <laughs> you know, they, is there anybody else? So you, yeah, I just I cannot see that you can buy a fullback and say he can play he can play either side of the field. You 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 know, if you want versatility like that, you need to buy a. You know, a wide player who can play fullback, not 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 a full, not a fullback who can play on the other side. So, if, if you're being a little bit critical here, which you're entitled to be more than any of us, really, because you've played the game, um, are you? Does that mean you're being critical of Pep? Because a lot of people would say he's beyond criticism because of. And he is beyond criticism. I'm, I'm, just, I'm just saying, you know, these are the thing, these are the conversations I have when I, I, you know, I'm watching the game with my pals, and we're all in our fifties, and we, you know, we, we have obviously had the. Uh, the honour of of living through it and, and playing, and but these are people who used to watch me, people who are wa- watching the team, sort of in the same. These, these are the conversations I, I'm having. So yeah, there's you know, the, of course, of course, you're being a little bit critical, but all, I suppose all you're doing is you're you're questioning it. These are the questions that that I, you know I've been asking. Obviously, we've asked the question why you know why did Guerrero come off? It, it just seemed bizarre that um, so. But the, the guys, the guy's been a genius. The, the man, and he, and, and I think that's the the point is, I feel like there's some work to do, um, but there's always some work to do in in amongst the you know Ferguson's reign at, 
Oh, there was always seasons where it's, you can have to have those transitional seasons some, sometimes. It just seems uh, we, we shouldn't lose a centre half and it, and it disrupt the whole of the team so much. And I, and I really, I really feel as though it, it's done. The excitement isn't there, and, and and as long as that doesn't affect the the Sheffield Wednesday game, it doesn't affect the the, the Villa game. It doesn't, have, you, you know, that that's going to be the issue. How, how do we re- get, regain that impetus? Because obviously we go into those games now. Um, they're, they're massively important games. It's it's a shame you're going into the games on the on the backs of defeat, and you haven't. And there does seem to be um, confidence ebbing away a little a little bit. So I think they're, they're the issues. I think what what we do need to say, and, we, and, and it's massively important to say this: we've got the best manager we've the club has ever ever had. I don't think there's any doubt about that. Uh, obviously, Joe Mercer won in Europe. But we haven't we haven't done that. But we, the, this era is the the, the best era. The, the the club has ever had, and there are certainly in my time watching the club, and you can probably go back the whole of my life 50, 50, 50 odd years. There's only a handful of players, and I, and I include the the great team, the you know late six years. There's only a handful, handful of players who would get anywhere near this team that that we've had, and 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 I'm, I genuinely mean that, you know. Uh, so we, we we've got a squad full of. Superstars and the the area has been absolutely fantastic. And it just isn't quite happening at this moment in time, but it'll it'll come. Back. It will. It absolutely will come back. Um, but I think that 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 it felt watching the game yesterday. It it just felt. Does it really? You know, in in ninety minutes, uh, was was I that bothered that we would got B? It, it, what it did. You know what I mean? It, doesn't really matter how far we finish behind Liverpool, and, and if we if we finish forty points behind them, but we we win those three cups, no one's ever going to remember how far behind we were. It, it, it's that's that's what I say. Those, those three cup games are massively important. So, games so are you optimistic? Yes, yeah, yeah, I am because I've, I I do have faith in the, in the manager, and I, and I, I I just genuinely believe something magical is going to going to happen to David Silver this year. This, this season, I, I, can, I just feel that, that that is going to happen. You look back to your your playing days, and you look at City as they are now. You know, do you do you wish you were playing? Do you miss it? Do you are you satisfied with with what you achieved? Because you did achieve a lot of City, didn't you? I know you're very modest. <laughs> <laughs> um, I I'd, I'd obviously love to. I mean, quite often people say to me, "Oh, you you you'd get in this team and and." And that's lovely if people if people want to think that that's that's great and 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 I suppose what what I always say is um, I I know as an individual I would massively benefit probably more than many others for for all the better things that are in the game now so simply like we better training facilities I mean we we used to I used to run on the road to Platteley every day. And I ended up at 30 years of age with arthritis in my right ankle. And, and, I, and I genuinely think if I didn't do do that every day, I'll probably. I played every single game. You know, uh, um, a fitness test for me was literally Peter Reid saying, How do you feel? And I'd go, Yeah. You know, and that, that was literally it. No, you know, you, you play, none of this monitor it. So I'd have, I know it sounds awful because I'd have hated to do it, but you, you'd have benefited from a, a rest every now and again. You know, dietary things. Um, and psychology, psychology would have been enormous, massive to me in terms of my career. So I, I know that I'd have benefited greatly. So you, you'd you'd be getting a much better version of David White than than you got back then, and therefore, so I might have had a chance. So, so they, they might they might be right. But um, the 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 era was what it was. I, I would I would have really struggled with all the social media intrusions. That that would have absolutely I'd have found that incredibly difficult. But I suppose they also there's a lot of training, you know, and 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 uh, education goes on around that as in terms of how to, how to cope and manage with that. So, um, there, we had some great times, and and um, you and I spoke before, and and I'm proud to, yeah, I'm proud to uh, to I think I'm I'm pretty sure I'm the last person that's ever scored a tenth goal in English football, and that was thirty three years ago. Um, I'm you know pr- I'm proud to have. Scored City's first ever Premier League goal. I'm, you know, so there's these loads of things that um, I'm, you know, really proud about what happened, and 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 it was there, there were some great times, and and there were some times where, and you know, we've again, you and I have spoke where 
I, f I found it really, really difficult mentally at times. I found it really tough. Um, so um, the the club, we, sh we we need to enjoy what we've got now. It, it, it's it is absolutely incredible. They, they've done fantastic things with the club and the stadium and, and the, the the training facilities and, and uh, football something to be proud of and 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 the foot the, the football club and our contribution during this this period at Manchester City and the the, the global city clubs is is something to be to be very very proud of and and, and it's great to that I am still in a small way associated with that and and, and connected with that so um it's uh I'd, my book, you know, when I wrote my book, it was shades of blue, and that's what you know. It was it was all about the the ups and downs in my life, but the the different shades of blue, the different shades of of Manchester City, and there's been uh, an, in, an incredible amount of versions, and 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 but this is the best one by far.